Here is your reading for the week. Uh, true love coming your way. It's all about unity now, coming together, learning to communicate with other people in more effective ways. Working hard is successful in coming up with great ways to communicate with other people. Learn to take more risk in life. Remember, hang out with the 96%. 4% are sociopaths and they can do a lot of damage. They say the average sociopath has impacted thousands of lives, right? So we often think that everyone is a sociopath, but remember that 96% of human beings are good. So we have the full card coming in to be able to put yourself, yes, be cautious, but also take a little bit more risk in life. And that comes from being secure in yourself. I know who I am. I know what my values are. I know what I'm willing to live for and what I'm willing to die for. So that sense of self, that sense of security in you allows you to be a little bit more adventurous. Like my cat, when she came to live in the building, she was afraid to leave my apartment, but now <coughs> she knows she's home, excuse me, so she's more free. She's a little bit less frightened of going and walking outside, right? Because she's more secure in her world. And the same is true for the fool. Uh, when we have a secure world, uh, we're, we're a little bit less fearless. Six of Swords is headed your way. Smooth waters next week. Above you, I see many of you could be planning trips for the spring and summer. Nice Knight of Wands moving into fourth position. Future plans coming in on travel. They will be victorious. Any future plans you have, uh, they will be quite successful, quite beneficial to you. They say that poverty is a mindset that you have decided to leave behind. Poverty is a mindset that is slow, slowly, <laughs> poverty is a mindset that is closely associated with shame. Like me, for example, I didn't raise my prices for five years and it was starting to have an economic toll on me, right? So I had to, I have to <coughs> announce that my prices are going up. And I felt ashamed, like, oh my God, I have to raise my prices, but it's not my fault the prices are going up. Uh, I mean, inflation is happening, right? So just to let everybody know that, by the way, if you wanna get in for a reading with me and you wanna get the old prices, because uh, I haven't ch changed prices in five years. They end on March 22nd. So on March 22nd, we're doing something like a 10 to 20% raise uh, in my prices as a reader and doctor. It has to happen. I mean, I was charging $85. I mean, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know. Um, so uh, just to let everybody know, uh, prices are going up on March 22nd. So if you want to enjoy the discount prices, uh, check out the information below to book with me. Um, but we have this poverty, leaving poverty or issues of poverty associated with travel. So <clears throat> it's a feeling in this energy of somebody who could be potentially trying to move away from shame, guilt, or mental states that leave you impoverished. You know, when I was depressed, I didn't want to get out of bed and I didn't want to put on makeup. So today I made an effort to put on makeup, right? Though uh, when we have shame or when we feel down on ourselves, we don't want to put in an effort, right? So leaving shame and the poverty of shame behind. Where you are at right now, love comes to you. Ace of Cups, look at this, double aces. Double aces. A serious decision is coming to you at this time regarding conflicts where others are not communicating with you. You could be having to make decisions about people who are not seeing or communicating with you. And so for that reason, it could be that you choose to end, terminate, or reassess relationships with anybody that uh, is not respecting you, listening to you. You see your opposition. The eighth house is that person which you're having conflict with. And we're seeing a two of swords. 
your judgment is based on the fact that the other person isn't listening. If somebody's not listening, if you've tried every which way from Sunday to try and communicate with that person, you may be in a situation where you have to let the relationship go because this is a stalemate. Anybody who's not able to listen to you, see the end. If there's no communication and you've done everything in your power to communicate with the other person and it's no longer effective, uh, the only thing that's happening here is that it, uh, this looks like a stalemate. If another person is rigid, not changing, if you are at the mercy of another person and they are refusing to change, you may have to cut the cord with them. The clarification, family secrets, family inheritance, a judgment regarding your family issues. That could also be uh, people you've had in your life for a very long period of time that are like family, trying to get back into your life. See, you have this tug and pull. You just have to be very clear with people. If they want to be in your life, they're going to have to be open, honest communicators, or you're done because this is also family secrets. Part of our legacy, the dark aspects of familial inheritance can be child abuse. This can be an incest card if it's inverted, right? Uh, people spying and chatting on each other. It's, it's not an entirely positive card, right? So it's what we inherit. It can also be our genetics, by the way. But you can see here the opposition with family and friends this tug, this back and forth that you could be experiencing with somebody who's not necessarily emotionally available, the dance of anger, you have to make a decision, secrets in the family, issues in your family. Also, real estate could be coming up in your future. Look at this. And then the final outcome for you, you must divorce the situation. The queen of swords is divorced. She, cut, she takes the sword and she cuts the sword. She also holds the bracelet on the left hand, which is to tame the dark or the left hand. The left hand is vengeance. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It's interesting when we think about jewelry on the hand, we think about the Sikh who dedicate themselves to God and will often wear a silver bracelet or Buddhist will wear a bracelet to remind themselves of the eightfold path as Buddhist. And the left hand is off in the dark path. It's to stay vengeance and to be just. So, but it's over. I mean, it's really very simple. It's really very simple. Your number one priority in this incarnation is your own health. What? I'm going to say it one more time. Your number one priority in this incarnation is your health, your physical health, the state of your physical body right now. Take a good look at it. Do something about it. The state of your mental health. Check in on yourself. Your spiritual health your ethics, have you scrupulously examined your own character every day with an account and a reckoning, right? Have you burnt bin midnight oil, right? So that's all you are responsible in this incarnation is your health, your well-being. So what do children do? They ape their parents. So if a parent is making sure to brush their teeth really, really well and taking it very seriously and flossing, the kid is going to watch the parent. This is really important, right? So when we love and respect ourselves and make ourselves a priority and are not carrying around irrational shame because we're carrying on somebody else's shame that they don't want to carry, so they decided to give it to us, right? That's what child abusers do, right? Well, I don't want to feel this awful feeling. I think I'll give it to my victim. And so then you wind up carrying a load of crap that doesn't belong to you, 10 of wands. 
you're feeling like crap and it didn't even have anything to do with you. I had a client recently. I hope she forgives me if she's watching. Watching. She's trying to be spiritually strong. This is, I have two clients right now, spiritually strong for these children that she's caring for, often adopted children, damaged children, children who somebody else damaged. So now the hero shows up, right? Becomes the adopted mother or a mentor to that child. And now that beautiful person who is an angel, who has come to give that child some hope, is now beating themselves up because they couldn't fix something that they didn't damage in the first place. Rather than thanking them and appreciating them for trying to help in an impossible or very difficult situation, right? So when the Queen of Swords comes to us, she tells us not to be vengeful, stay the left hand, and but it is time to strike the sword and cut the cord and put your back behind those which would refuse to listen. This cat and mouse game, if you're not willing to take responsibility for your personal part in why this relationship has turned toxic, if you're obstructing my health, no relationship must ever come in the way of you and your health, full stop. You must sit and you must pray and you must say the rosary or some other mantra that works for you. And you must seek your own counsel and ask yourself as you examine every single one of your relationships, is this relationship good for my health? and then you must make the selfish decision to terminate it. If it cannot be healed, you, of course we have to try and heal, six of cups is there. But if the other person is not making the relationship a priority, if your health in any way is being, if you feel like crap, that should, then if you're living a truly spiritual life, you would understand that you are a child of, God, that you're the king, you're the queen, and this is simply unacceptable behavior. No one treats the queen like that. No one puts baby in the back, right? No one's putting baby in the back. God doesn't make garbage. Lift yourself up, wipe yourself off. Remember the message of Oshun, the African goddess, when she comes to speak to her children all God's children are my children, right? That's what Miss Mabel says, our spirit guide. All God's children are my children. So what does Miss Mabel ask herself every time she sees a child ashamed or broken down or beaten and abused? She says, why is my child in the dirt? Why is my child crying? That's my child. She takes the children that others have harmed or so all children have uh, Miss Mabel, you know, the spirit guide, Miss Mabel. She's the spirit of that human being that holds themselves accountable, right? If a, another person is suffering. But it's also a lesson to all of us to not take on the shame of others. So if you're crying in the dirt, all ashamed because some bully came and drug you down. Be aware, you have to square your shoulders and carry yourself with more respect. Understand also that in this card, what you sit in is the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is the card of victory after tears and it's the survivor's card. Queen of Swords, put, it, it's unworthy of you uh, to, to be upset about such petty things. You're the Queen of Swords. She has bigger fish to fry. She looks to the to tomorrow. She doesn't waste her time on the past. That's your collective. I hope you enjoyed it.